The ST Turex of Singapore marks the notable shift in armored vehicle design being witnessed across the globe today. Large, heavy and expensive lumbering tanks are being retired in favor of more nimble, lighter weight and modular wheel design forms. The bridge between the infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, and the armored personnel carrier, APC, is now being bridged by the armored combat vehicle, ACV, offering a strong mix of crew-slash-passenger protection, strong firepower and a useful troop-carrying capability. The Singaporean ST Turex is a reflection of this shift and adds a modern element to the Singapore Armed Forces. Design work on the Turex, as a private venture product, began in the late 1990s to which a pilot vehicle was showcased as early as 2001, as the AV-81. Several design changes later and the vehicle re-emerged in 2004 in what was, more or less, its finalized form. The design phase was shared between ST Engineering, of Singapore, and Timoni Technology Ltd., or Ireland, and production began in 2006 between ST Engineering and Otokar, of Turkey. The Turex makes it home in the modern active army inventories of both Singapore and Turkey, 2017, the latter designating the vehicle as the AV-82. The Turex stands at 6.10 feet tall holding an overall length of 23 feet and a beam measuring 8.9 feet. Weight is 55,000 pounds. Its dimensions are such that the vehicle can be airlifted in the belly of a Lockheed C-130 Hercules or similar fixed-wing transport. Internally, there is a standard operating crew of two, driver and vehicle commander, with seating for up to 12 combat-ready infantrymen. Armor protection is rated up to small arms fire, typically 7.62 mm, and shell splinters with add-on armor being optional for improved protection. Smoke grenade dischargers allow for a self-screening capability. Drive power is made possible by an American Caterpillar C9 inline-six diesel-fueled engine of 400 horsepower propelling the vehicle to speeds of 70 miles per hour out to a range of 500 miles. The suspension system is a full 8x8 hydropneumatic double wishbone arrangement offering excellent cross-country mobility with the front two axles being steerable. The Turex ICV holds an inherent amphibious capability, allowing it to traverse certain water sources with propulsion through water jets located at the lower rear of the hull. Primary armament is a single CIS-40 automatic grenade launcher, AGL, coupled with a 7.62mm machine gun in a coaxial fitting, these mated to a remote weapon station, RWS, operated from within the vehicle. A pair of additional machine guns can also be mounted over the rear of the hull roof for additional defense. Personal weapons carried by the occupants can also come into play when defending the vehicle. The crew has access to full 360-degree situational awareness thanks to the collection of cameras fitted and the control suite is all digital and fully integrated into the existing Singapore Arms Forces Battle Space Network. A complete NBC, nuclear biological chemical, suite is featured as standard to protect the occupants from a variety of airborne threats. Externally, the vehicle has a largely conventional appearance as it sports eight large, well-spaced roadwheels set across four axles. The wheels have a run-flat capability and the chassis gives the Turex excellent ground clearance as well as blast protection from mines and other hidden dangers, thanks to a V-shaped hull. The glassy plate over the front section of the truck is near vertical for basic ballistics protection. The driver's position is to the front left and the engine to his right. This allows the aft section of the hull to be used for the passenger compartment. Access hatches along the hull roofline and a powered rear door allow for entry-exit of the vehicle by the crew and its occupants. Beyond its in-service standing with the Singapore Armed Forces, the impressive Turex is in the running to fulfill the United States Marine Corps, USMC, Marine Personnel Carrier, MPC, program requirement and is also being considered as the solution for the Australian Army's Land 400 program. The Terex's versatility allows it to be considered for other battlefield roles beyond troop deployment such as anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, carrier, mortar carrier, medevac, fast reconnaissance, fire support, local air defense and command and control, C2.